Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Sistiana here doing your monthly reading for February 2020. This is going to be for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, feel free to contact me privately. My information is in the description below. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell icon too so you can be notified whenever I go live or upload new content. Thank you for joining me so much, Scorpio. Let's see what does Scorpio need to know for February 2020. Five of Wands. You got a situation with a lot of people going on, huh? Family situation, friend groups, social media, possibly. A change of luck. Better times are ahead. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Could have Virgo in your chart. You already know your answers. You that you you or you already know the answers that you seek. King of Pentacles dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Moon could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. The Moon is also a ruler for Cancer. Two majors. You got something big happening. Things being revealed to you about your work, putting in extra time at work. But you have a wish being fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. Your greatest heart's desire is coming to you. And the Knight of Cups, it's gonna send you on an emotional roller coaster. Your underlying energy is the Ace of Cups. So for some of you Scorpios, you have a new love, a new beginning in love. And it's an eye-opening experience. For some, it's also a cycle completing itself. Hmm. Let's clarify these cards with Scorpio, please. Five of Wands. And it flew. With the High Priestess, trust your intuition. Trust your gut when dealing with other people. If they seem a bit shady, trust your gut and leave them alone. So again, group of people, somebody looks shady, it doesn't even have to be a group of people. Dealing with others, just dealing with other people. If they do not look right, something seems off, trust your gut, Scorpio. There's chances are something's wrong. You got a change of luck, a change of times within your family, within your marriage, your home, where you find your happiness. And you already know about the work. You already know about the money. So there's nothing nothing new there, right? Not telling you anything that you don't know already. Queen of Rods, King of Pentacles. The Earth and Fire. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Regaining control over yourself. Over your here and now. And saying, I'm doing this. I'm taking care of this. This is me. And if you don't like it, you can, as I tell my husband, you can bite me. That's like the feeling what I'm getting. It's like, you're going to just tell them you're to, to go somewhere else with themselves. I hope that makes sense for you. The moon and the queen of swords. Again, I feel that whole energy of. You telling people exactly what you think, exactly what you feel, and being completely like, okay, I'm not going to hold my tongue for you anymore. It's the, it's going to be revealed. It's You're going to go through it. 
the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. The Eight of Pentacles is twice. So you got heavy work, heavy money issues or money, um, money coming in. And the star is blessings. It's also the card for Aquarius. So you could have Aquarius in your chart. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, the blessing is about the money. The wish is coming true. Karmic cycles completing itself. Something from the past coming back. And destiny is tooting her horn. She is saying, you know what? Here, this is what you've been wanting. This is what you've been working towards. And you finally get it. But it's definitely going to be that very emotional roller coaster. But it's going to be happiness. It's going to be happiness all around, especially with your family. Like everything's great there. The underlying energy is a page of rods with the Ace of Cups. So somebody's yelling it from the rooftops. You've got this new beginning. So somebody's sitting here spreading the news about your new beginning. You got two eights. <clears throat> two eights. Prosperity and abundance. And you're dealing with other people. Like, I feel like you've got a lot of people around you as well. Not too bad. Not too bad. Prosperity and abundance, though, Scorpio. And make sure you watch your moon and rising readings. So you can get the full picture of what's coming in for you for this month of February. But thank you for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until your next video, I'm out for now.